been an interesting week. We've been having this argument at church about uh, ministry and outreach and uh, specifically about our ministry or lack of uh, to zombies. We've uh, been very accepting in our church of werewolves. Uh, we, we have a werewolf couple actually uh, in, in the choir. They, they're, they're not that bad. Was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears We did have a vampire uh, came to the Sunday evening service back when there was a Sunday evening service, but it was canceled uh, because attendance was poor because the vampire was there. And, uh, <laughs> and he was acting out, you know, the way vampires do. Just... Book. I want to sing, there is a fountain filled oh, with blood. Oh, come on. Yes, oh. drawn from Emmanuel's veins, and sin oh. is washed beneath the flood. Lose oh. all the guilty stains. Everybody now, number give, 234. Give me a break. There is a fountain No, go, 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 go. go. But recently, a whole lot of zombies have appeared in our church's neighborhood. And so at the meeting of our outreach commission, Sandy, a woman who gives me the creeps, I must say, spoke up about it. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe they are undead, whatever that means. I don't know. Uh, so maybe they have voices that don't conform to what we assume a human voice should sound like. Oh, I mean, maybe we have strong negative reactions to them physically based on our own cultural stereotypes of what is human and yeah. what is They're not. They're corpses. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think huh? we in the church can simply ignore yeah. the entire oh. undead community. Okay. Community? Yes. Yeah. Zombies that yes. are community now? Yes, huh? yes. Oh, well, I'm sorry, for what? your information, zombies is such a judgmental term. Oh, please. Oh. No, they, yeah, they prefer the term alternative life forms, oh, all right? Yes. Now listen, we need to start accepting them as they are. They are broken people. Yes, literally, their faces are falling off. No, they are, huh? listen, they are broken people. Why are they so different from the lepers Sandy, in listen, Scripture? you're talking about Why? the living dead, okay? No, right, I mean, people right. whose what, brains are leaking. I mean, the custodians I mean, have enough work to do but, without <laughs> cleaning up rotting flesh. I mean, listen, they need the gospel as much as anybody else. Really, how are they different from lepers? Sandy, Tell me that, they have a please. virus. They have a virus. They uh, want to eat the brains uh, out of your head. Well, lepers do you. not, okay? But. What zombies need is to be shot. What? Yes. I can't believe you're saying well, that. Well, I'm saying it. They, they need to be church. shot in the head so they can die uh -huh. and get into the afterlife. And then, you know, I mean, if you want to donate flowers for the altar in their memory, fine. Oh, okay. uh, excuse I me. Oh, here's uh, excuse the pastor. Me. Right. Uh, folks, yes. I think Sandy Andy has a very real concern yes, here, and you. You, I think that in the spirit of diversity yeah. and oh. accepting differences, uh, yeah. we need to reach out and embrace all different pa life Pastor forms, Johnson. regardless of our biases. Yes. Uh, Pastor, yes. 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 zombies are dead, they're not alive. That okay? is your opinion. But, okay. but start with that. Zombies, they're mindless uh. corpses who have an insatiable appetite for, for human brains. Oh, I cannot oh. Their bodies are rotten, yes, their are. flesh is falling off. You so know, and the not... church is about healing. It's about solving those problems, oh. don't you see? Oh, okay. Oh. Who invited him? Oh, huh? uh, Who brought yes. him in? I did. Uh, okay. I thought we needed to hear from an undead yes. person to get their point he's, of he's view. He's falling point. apart, oh. okay, Pastor. You know, the gospel is for everyone. No, it's for the right, living, Pastor. Pastor. We are a welcoming church. We are a welcoming church. Pastor, we are a welcome. Welcoming church. That's right, Pastor. Could you make eye contact with me, please? Our welcoming church. That's fine. Look, look at him. Look at look at Pastor Johnson. The way he's walking, all stiff there and, and slow. He's always walked that way. Well, maybe we should. Come on, get back. He's, he's back just up. reaching out to you. He wants I'm to. I'm aware of that. He wants you to embrace his otherness. All right. Hand me that cake mixer, Sandy. It's, it's right there. It's what? in the kitchen. What? What for? Just, just give me that mixer. Well, just why? get it. Okay, hurry, hurry up, Pastor. Oh, here's the pastor. Pastor, don't come any closer. We are all one. Stand right where you are. We need to come together, Pastor. Don't, don't, don't hit we him. We are all one. Oh! You just knocked his head off. Oh. 
It's the only way somebody should have done it a long what? time ago. <gasps> Give me the cake mixer there, Sandy. What? Come on. Like Come on. Close your eyes, like Sandy. I can't see. This isn't going to be pretty. <laughs> I used to be more liberal, more accepting of differences. And then the living dead came to church and I decided that some differences are too different, okay? Some of the zombies are still in our midst, I'm pretty sure. Vespers the other evening. There were some people sitting off in a dark corner and they were singing in kind of a monotone. Got to keep an eye on those people. We have been here ten thousand years. We will not go away. And we will teach your heart to feel. You eyes open that's all I can say just be alert when you turn around to shake hands with somebody in church look into their eyes before you do it because those people are out there and they want to come in here with us